And we're live. Yeah, check, check, check. All looks good. Yep. Welcome <laughs> to some Friday night games. Yay! On Zero Page Homebrew. Uh, thank you for joining us. And we're going to be playing three games yet again. Yeah. And um, tonight it's a little tribute to a fallen hero. Uh, well, sort of. <laughs> hero to few, villain to many. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be playing. Um, Pac-Man 4K, and also a DKVS, which is Donkey Kong, a homebrew version of Donkey Kong, mm -hmm. um, because um, Billy Mitchell's uh, long-standing, since like early 80s, um, high scores on the arcade of um, Pac-Man and Donkey Kong have been erased from the Guinness Book of World Records because he was found cheating in Donkey Kong. <laughs> he was using MAME instead of an arcade mm -hmm. machine. So therefore, they just erased all of his scores because they can't really um, trust his uh, methods anymore. Um, so there, yep. there they go. So we're gonna yep. play two of the games. He mm -hmm. had uh, high scores in, he was the first one to reach um, the kill screen in Pac-Man mm. and the first one to reach a million points in Donkey Kong. Mm. And both of those are gone now. So if you ever watched uh, King of Kong, A Fistful of Quarters. Excellent film. Um, yeah. It was Billy Mitchell against Steve Wiebe. Mm -hmm. And uh, Billy Mitchell was the first one to get a million points. And then Steve Wiebe got it. But now Steve Wiebe is officially the first person to get a million points really? in Donkey Kong. Interesting. So wow. he has that score now. <laughs> Revindicated Re for Re his, his accomplishment. Wow. They're going to have to make a King of Kong too. Maybe. Because <laughs> um, many, so. many people past those two people have just destroyed those oh, scores. Oh, really? Since, since. Then. Oh, So okay. they're not yeah. even in the standings anymore. Yeah. The last time I checked, maybe they've been playing again, but... Yeah, but all those new people don't really matter because no one made a documentary <laughs> about them. So. That's right. It wasn't um, recorded in... Yeah, but it, if you haven't seen the documentary, it is exceptional. It's it's just uh, a really well-crafted film. Yes. And it's a really interesting and exciting film. I think it's a, it's a, it's a really good documentary as far as documentary terms go, of as well. In terms of structure. Structure um, and story and the character development. Yeah, too, character I think, development. Is, is really, really good. Lots of liberties it, so. taken here and there in terms of timeline and and portrayal. But as as an entertaining film, it's top notch and, and probably one of the best um, video gaming documentaries that I've seen. Um, the other one was about uh, the independent video gamers. Do you remember that one? What it's yes, called? about independent game development. Yes. Right? That one's really, really good. So if you want to see another good video game yeah. movie, like phone. that one is a good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can look it up a little yeah. bit later. Yeah. Um, and the third game we'll be playing is Oystron. Um, and this one is a little bit older of a game. Um, I'll get my tablet out later and figure out. Oh, Gretams is here. And she says she has this shirt, little video oh, gamey yeah. shirt. It is a band t-shirt, but it kind of looks like here's a big big boss at the bottom, and this is kind of Space Invaders-y at the top, or Galago, or whatever yeah. early game like that. Um, but I thought it was a fairly appropriate t-shirt. And Tanya is wearing... I've got my Nintendo. A Nintendo t-shirt? shirt, but, you know, prominently featuring Donkey Kong in the middle. So I figured it was on, on theme Today, so. Yeah, it works yeah. really well. <laughs> um, so let's pop in um, Pac-Man 4K mm -hmm. and get that started. Um, so I don't, have you ever played the original Atari 2600 Pac-Man? No, I have not. Yeah, okay. I, I, I can't say I have played a huge number of Atari 2600 games. I've certainly pay, played... Well, certainly Miss Pac-Man. I remember playing a lot of Miss Pac-Man. Yeah, not necessarily original Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man was very popular. Yeah. So let's get this going. Um, Pac-Man was infamous on the 2600. Yeah. I, you, yeah, I've heard, I have heard that. Probably from you. Um, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, not well regarded later on, I think. But when it came out, people, th um, people thought it was fun. Like, I thought it was totally fine, um, but it's been much mis uh, 
misaligned. Is that the right word? <laughs> maligned. Maligned. Much maligned. Not misaligned. <laughs> yeah. It, it's not fully misaligned. aligned. It's fully aligned. Uh, so let's switch over. The to controllers that. are fully aligned. The screen <laughs> is fully aligned. Yes. Everything's working. Fully calibrated properly. and aligned. Yeah. Maligned. Yeah. This this week maligned. it's uh, working right. <laughs> um, but in yeah in the in the years after it was released it was much maligned because it's so different than the arcade. It's like unbelievably different than the arcade, the one on the twenty six hundred back. It in the 80s in 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 the controls or in like the rooms absolutely everything really okay. uh the sound wasn't right the oh, maze wasn't no. right the graphics weren't right the colors weren't right um everything everything was different other than there's a guy in a maze eating things and there's power-ups and there's four ghosts okay. chasing you so it had the basic elements yeah it's like somebody showed pac-man to somebody for like a minute and they made furious notes <laughs> and then they said oh that's all you get go yeah. make this game or they described it to them on the phone <laughs> described it to them on <laughs> <Yeah>. the phone <laughs> <laughs> which is definitely possible <laughs> yes yeah uh, let's see yeah no there's no audio yet cuz there's no audio but mm -hmm. okay so this game uh, let me get my notes up oh and Dana VC has joined us as well saying hey uh, oh, from their Kickstarter. Yeah, this was from uh, MSI's Kickstarter. So let me get my notes about this game. Um, because I did make some notes. This was uh, put out in 2012, and it was made by Dennis Debro. Um, Dennis Debro sought to create an adaption of Pac-Man. There we go. More faithful than the Atari's 1982 version uh, for the VCS. Utilizing the same 4K memory limit. Oh, that's a bit loud. I can see it right now. Um, utilizing the same 4K memory limit as the original, Dennis's game is a feat of programming that finally brings Pac-Man to the Atari 2600 as it was intended. And right uh, to the ghost. I'm, I'm terrible at Pac-Man. Only the blue ones. Absolutely <laughs> terrible at this game. Um, it has never been one of my favorite games to play. There's something inherently stressful about Pac-Man. <laughs> well, um, it is relentless. Like, it doesn't it stop. It is, and... There's no paw... Well, in the, in the arcade, there actually is a, a spot where you can actually sit there forever and go to the bathroom. Uh, I rarely, rarely make it past the first level. <laughs> um, and so th there will be no million dollar <laughs> Million score. Million point score no. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. You're not going to make it to the Actually, crash um, screen? <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't think. He didn't replicate that, I'm quite sure. Why are they moving so fast? Because it's an intense game. <laughs> no, but I mean, faster. Oh, no. It works like when I switch away from the Twitch chat. Yeah, okay, it's still on time. Good. The stream is fine. Are you still on your first game? Good. Yeah. Oh, we oh, made it to the second level. Oh. Strawberries. Yeah, I'm just having trouble controlling a little. Ah, Whoa, <laughs> get out of they there. They feel so fast. Get out of there. Are, do they seem ex excessively fast? They have sped up from the first level. No, 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 but I'm... Oh, this is just... Do you want to go again? Or... No, no. Okay. Yeah, no, no, you play. This is this is not my forte. But, um... <laughs> Uh, no, they just feel fast. I don't know. They feel faster than other versions. Faster than, than other versions I've played. Yeah. So I'm far from an expert at Pac-Man. There are like patterns that you can use to clear the board. And the ghosts also have specific patterns that... Um... Oh, that's the cherry. Uh, good job. Yeah, I got all four. Yep. That is not bad. Um, and there's like a perfect score for Pac-Man to get. Mm. And there's 255 screens in the arcade. And so if you get every ghost on every pellet, on every board, mm. it like gives you this, this perfect score. Because it's not the score that crashes the game. It's the play field. It's a play board. Um, you ran out of play boards? Oh, oh it could have gone up. Um, it, run, it never expected 
the programmers never expected anybody to get up to that high of a of a, a board. So they only used um, enough memory locations to do 255 before it rolls over. Um, 255 boards? Yes. <laughs> Screens. That's Board crazy. Board. Oh, they are moving quite... They're moving really fast. Am I, am I nuts? <laughs> no. Is, is there the difficulty second... levels on it? Uh, there might be. There might be. So we'll take a look at the manual after this <laughs> Because they, they seem to be going... Really fast for in second, second level. In second level, faster than the speed of the Pac-Man. <laughs> Uh, Which... that, it could be. No, they're not. They're just oh, going they really just fast. they seem really fast. Get that and also, they're flashing really quickly, it seems. Anyway. Well, mm, no. No? That's... Is it usually that short? Oh, you mean the, by the time it's over? Yeah, like yeah, they're flashing they already. Do. They it do. It definitely looks yeah. like... I thought you meant the flickering, which we'll, no, the which flickering. we'll address. Oh, no, no, no. Place. Yeah, no, I, ah. I do understand. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They are moving very quickly. Not... You know, impossibly quick, but very quick. One more. I'm definitely going to beat this screen, at least. Oh, that ghost. Mm, no, too fast. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll make it to screen three, at least. Can you take a look at my tablet? It mm -hmm. says reconnecting the chat, but either nobody's talking or... Ah! <laughs> Your fault. Oh, who's that? Free life? I didn't seem to get a free life, but it was beeping. Oh, I got 10,000. I guess I got a free life. Gritham says she hasn't played Pac-Man in about 13 years. <laughs> that, that, I might be around there for me, too. I don't think I... Well, maybe you've had a couple of games I played more recently, but uh, uh, it is... We probably didn't play Pac-Man at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, but didn't we play a game where... We played a version oh of Pac-Man on one of the platforms where everyone plays a different character. So you play Pac-Man. There are four controllers. Is that oh, the GameCube? Oh, that's the GameCube version, yes. Oh, that's an awesome game. Yes. And you play Pac-Man and five then... Five people. Five people play. Yeah. One person plays Pac-Man, the other four play the ghosts. And that is a really fun game. Yeah. It's a really great multiplayer one game. One person's on the Game Boy. Is it Game Boy or Something 3DS? Like that. I think it's Game Boy. And it plugs into the GameCube, and four people on the GameCube cube control the four ghosts, and the person on the handheld can't see where the ghosts are. Yes. But the ghost can see where the Pac-Man is. Like, it's very evenly balanced. Yeah. And then when you die as Pac-Man, you switch, and the person, and the ghost that killed you gets to be the Pac-Man. Yeah. It's a brilliant, brilliant it's, game. It's really, really fun. It's a really yeah. fun game. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, it says reconnecting, but it looks like it's live, so I think it's... Uh... Well, it's live with the chat. I'm just going to put it on. Oh, it's working. Okay. So let's read the instructions, see if there are difficulty levels, because there might be. I'm not going to read the how to play, because we all know how to play Pac-Man. People are born knowing how to play Pac-Man now. Uh, no. No, the, the controls are not... No, the difficulty settings don't do anything. Um, notes from Debro. Uh, Pac-Man 4K started as a, out as a challenge for me to see if I could get a no-frills Pac-Man written for the 2600 in 4K and stay faithful to the original arcade game. Uh, I made some sacrifices along the way. Most noticeable was the decision to flicker the objects at a rate of 20 hertz instead of developing a variable flicker algorithm. I did some work in this direction but found that it took up too much ROM to include other features. Evivision did a 4K Pac-Man back in 1999 and displayed it at the 1999 Classic Gaming Expo. You can see pictures of their work at AtariH.com. I commend them for their work as this is the basis for my maze layout. They were able to do their game without using any, any undocumented 6502 opcodes. I used undocumented opcodes to reduce ROM and help in kernel timings. Hats off to you, Evivision. So the final size was 123 bytes of RAM out of 128. I almost use all of that. Five, you know, five bytes of RAM free. 43 bytes of ROM free. Not much. Uh, it says 2011. Um, 
Yeah, so that's the official release date. Uh, on the Atari Age page, it said 2012. <clears throat> so you can select the starting game level. That's kind of cool. And start the game by pressing the button, fire button, in the demo mode. Yep. Um, extra Pac-Man at 10,000. Maybe I just didn't notice. I swear I heard the sound, but then I looked on the screen and there wasn't an extra Pac-Man. Uh, you will find that each monster has its own behavior. They're similar to the arcade version. So he did try to replicate the style... I think got all four. Uh, the style of the ghost's movements. If I remember correctly... The red one makes a beeline for you. I'm pretty sure. No, the red one's not making beeline. No, he's not. The green, green one? Maybe? Uh, I don't know. The green one's going right for you. Oh, no, he turned. Well, one of them goes right for you. Maybe it's pink. <laughs> when he sees you. Oh, maybe when, yeah, when he sees you or when he's close enough to you. Whoop. That uh, was close. Yeah. Oh, I could have gone through. One of them tries to get ahead of you. One tries to get close to you, but never goes after you. Once it gets close enough, it takes another route. And one of them, I think, is just random. Just kind of goes or, or goes opposite to one of them. I can't remember. Um, but for 4K, this is a really, really good version. So let's see. I made some other notes here. Improvements over Atari's Pac-Man. So, Atari's Pac-Man was made by one guy. Uh, he was rushed to get it done because you always have to make some, you know, quarter, um, like fourth quarter earnings, make sure it's out before then or out for, before Christmas. I can't remember the exact timing. Um, the maze was weird. Uh, the, the openings were at the top and the bottom instead of the sides. Pac-Man only faced left and right. He never turned. Mm -hmm. So that um, he could go up and down. Like you see there, Pac-Man mm. is going up and down with his mouth open. On the 2600 original version, he just kind of shimmied up and down with his mouth open I like kinda this. I kind of want to see that now. That sounds really <laughs> funny. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll put it on after this, actually. It sounds very entertaining. <laughs> it's, it's something. Got the music pretty close here. Uh, much closer than the uh, 2600 music, which was like. <laughs> That's it. That's the music. So do you, ha do you have the old uh, uh, game? I do. Um, we'll we'll play it off the harmony card because that's just easier. I don't. Okay. Have... Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, because <laughs> that's just easier. Because I don't have it dug out right now. It is a very very common card. So if you want, whoa, bug! Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, I did. Oh, why did I turn around? I, I oh, can I get back up there? What the? That what was, was cool. that? You went, you went up. You went up into the screen. There was like, <laughs> there was like a little, little gap almost. Yeah. That was cool. I wonder if there's known bugs with this game. Mm. Um, I'm sure somebody would have replicated that by now. Because that was. I am that was exactly really cool. the same speed as the ghosts on level two. Yeah, that's what I that's what I was saying. Or is this level one still? I'm doing terrible. <laughs> terrible. That's okay. Probably because I'm talking. And trying to replicate bugs in the game. What is he doing? Ah! Oh, terrible. Terrible. There, I hadn't finished talking about old terrible Pac-Man yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's no this the, this sound isn't there which is probably for the best because unless you have the exact sound it can be quite annoying a siren going off all the time it's probably made that way because the arcade would it would be so noisy in the arcade like a siren going off constantly would draw people over to see what the game was so the improvements over Atari's Pac-Man. Original arcade maze layout, which it does. 
Uh, the proper siren that changes pitch. Uh, monsters are the proper colors. Yeah, in the original one, they're all the same colors. Maze is the correct colors, which is a problem in the old one. I don't know why they didn't make the maze the same colors as the original in the arcade. There's no excuse for that. Again, I think someone told him what Pac-Man was over the phone. <laughs> I... Which would yeah. explain the confusion, but um, I, if I remember correctly, so there was with this controller. there was a rule that Atari laid out that you couldn't make the screen black, the backgrounds in games black. Oh, which which made games really weird. Like, that is really all the weird. time. I can't remember the reasoning. Like they had a reasoning why they didn't want to do that. Oh. Probably to make it look really <laughs> colorful. Whoa. Uh, Pac-Man and Ghost graphics are truer to the arcade, which they're very close for, the, for a 2600. Uh, monster behavior modeled after the arcade. Uh, bonus items are true to the arcade. Because in the original version, it was just like a, a square. Like a shapeless square. It could have been anything. And it says feels like Pac-Man. Which it does. This is really close. Um... The, what, the flicker. The flicker yes. is probably the only thing that he compromised on. That's the big issue, which is not too bad of an issue because they are ghosts. Um, so this flickers the same as the 2600 original version, where all the ghosts are flickering and, and Pac-Man is flickering too. Um, so everything's super flickering. <laughs> We're going to be looking at an 8K version really quickly after this. Okay. Where it's unbelievably improved, even over this one. Um, it's really, really good. Um, there's a video on YouTube if you want to take a look at the guy who programmed the 2600 version looking at this one at the Atari Age booth going, Oh, wow, I could have done that and I could have done that. <laughs> um because if you look at this one and look at the the pellets that he's eating, the color is white. And the way they were able to do it on this one to make them white is that you can see there's lines in the maze every so often all the way down. And that's where the pellets are. So he's, so the program is able to change color on that line and make it white and then change back to blue and draw, draw, draw. And then make it white again and make a gap. Because if he didn't make the gap, he'd have to. There's not enough time to draw the maze and then draw the pa pellet and then go back and forth with the colors. Boop. My turn. Let's Thank see you. if I can. Thank you, got me. <laughs> Did I make it to Pinky? the. What is it? It's Inky, Pinky, mm -hmm. Blinky. And? I can't remember the last one. Because it doesn't rhyme. I know, but that, uh, inky, pinky, blinky. And not, it's not nod. I know, I want to say nod. Uh, it's killing me. Someone must Clyde. Clyde! Well, I know what it Clyde. is. Clyde! Is Clyde the red one? Uh, that is something I don't know. I'm guessing pinky is pink. <laughs> Where's your phone? Why's your phone over there? Uh, well, that was close. So let's see if I can make it past level two. I did red, it. red is blinky. Blinky, okay. Well, they're Pink all blinky. Pink is pinky, right now. obviously. The green one is inky. Uh, inky, okay. And Clyde is orange. Orange, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, ugh, did turn around. Oh, uh, <laughs> terrible, terrible. But I didn't profess to be an expert at Pac-Man, so I am playing as about as well as normal. <laughs> Which is not good. Hey, you're doing pretty good. Uh, if I can barely made it, make it to the second stage, it's not good. 
any game where you can barely make it to the second stage. Ah, oh, I'm just getting too close to the ghost. Just go for the pellets. Um, this isn't the best joystick for this type of game. It's a little awkward for turning, I find. Using an arcade joystick would be better. A four-way arcade joystick. It'll just be more precise than a Genesis controller. But for overall gaming on the 2600, I find the Genesis controller is a good all-around... He oh, is faster. Oh, he caught up to you! I think while you're eating... They can go faster. Oh. Um, Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde. Dana VC says, Clyde is the red ghost. They added Sue in the Miss Pac-Man mm -hmm, game. Mm -hmm. So they added a female ghost in the Miss mm -hmm. Pac-Man. One more round. And then we'll take a look. Sounds good. At, at the, the original, old one. Yeah, that'll be and interesting. And then we'll take a look at the 8K version where somebody went nuts and said, I'm going to throw everything at this game and make it as close to possible as you can on the 2600. But this person challenged themselves with the same restrictions as the programmer had back in 1982? Yeah. Now, they do say copyright Namco Bandai on here. So I'm wondering if they got permission Probably. from Namco. Because they still sell this at, the, at Atari age. Sorry, I, I'm but getting annoyed fine. with the controller. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but the second game that we're going to be playing, Donkey Kong, I, they're going to have to... What's happening to this controller? I don't know. What's the problem? Can you not go up and down? There's something funny going on. <laughs> Can you go up and down? I am now, but I was having trouble. This no, no. User go. error. <laughs> um, but they're not going to be able to sell the Donkey Kong game. Oh, probably because it's Nintendo. And Namco is totally fine with people. Maybe they have to pay a little bit to put the name on there. Yeah, he did catch up to me. I'm on for level one. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely. But the Red Ghost. Zombie. And they all release at, at once. All level two. Almost all at once. Yeah, I know. Three of them did at No, first. but like in level one. It I think definitely... they release one at a time. I, I'll try and look next time I, when I play. The sound effects are way, way, way better than the original. Oh, oh he turned blue though. They all turned that, blue. Uh, that That's was, a bug. That was a bug. <laughs> All of them turned blue. They, they did all turn turn blue. And he killed you it, anyway. It, it was like simultaneous. I, I hit the pellet and I hit him. I think the order... And, and the monster won. <laughs> I think it's like the order that the program checked it in... Maybe. ...was the wrong order. It's like it kills you, then it lets you eat the pellet... Then it lets you. Then it turns blue, and or, then it goes for the death or animation. Or it let me. It let um. It let me oh, eat the pellet, and then, then killed me, him. and then turn blue, turn blue, and then do the animation. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds not perfectly on. I like it though. The kind of out of tune Pac-Man tune. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh. It, I don't know. It's it something. Feels, it feels... Ah. See, it's a little awkward. No, the controls are not I what do. you want to use. No, they're not ideal. Oops. It's getting really flickery. What is happening? Oh, that I can't look at that. I can't even see myself. There we go. Yeah, something really weird happened. Oh no, it is getting flickery. It's really weird. Um, I can't even see the ghosts. Clyde and uh, I'm, Clyde and Blinky are. Um, all you people out there can see them. Really? I'm missing a ghost. Oh, yeah. Well, at least you guys can see them. I think one's on top of the other right now. Is it? Uh, yeah, yellow okay. and pink, yeah. Oh, look. Clyde and... Uh, and so is this the game, or is this... No, oh, maybe it's a screen? Maybe the screen, maybe the... Upscaler, maybe the video capture. 
I was looking for a splitter so that I could see the output before it goes to the capture, but the capture is a pass through. I'm gonna blame programming. <laughs> and now my hardware. <laughs> but we did find two bugs so far, so. Oh, now it's fine. Whoa! Whoa, that was close. Are we gonna get him? No. Give up. Don't push it too hard. Pinky does some weird things up in that left corner. He does. He, he'll, just he'll, he'll circle around and then you'll show up and he'll just do a beeline straight <laughs> for you. It's like he's setting a little trap, yes. making it really hard for you to get that those Pellet. those pellets, and just lulls you into a sense of. Um... Ah, Pinky is definitely the guy that is. Oh, I'm going a little no, bit you're faster. You're going a little faster than Pinky. That doesn't make any sense. I swear they're going faster now, though. Uh, I might be able to finish this level. Maybe. But I have no power... No power pellets left. Just regular pellets. Ah. Good job, Bricklord. Ah. <laughs> level Good three. Job. Good job. The peach. peach. The peach. I did make it to the peach before. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I made it to the peach once. Did you? Yeah. Oh, so Just well, once. <laughs> Just I doubt once. I'll be able to make it past this, but... We'll try. Is there... Okay. Oh, dead. Okay, now I need to know... And when, over. ...what the levels are. You play another round. Uh, I don't are you going to play another round. the other one? Yeah. Uh, okay. So let's mm. just... Switch over. Ah, ah, ah. I'm stuck. Okay. Let's switch over to Harmony Cart, which has, uh... Pac-Man on it, and, oh, let's try that again, there we go, let's go to games, P for Pac-Man, Pac-Man, okay, oh my goodness. What are you looking up? I just want to know the levels. Like the... the oh, the, the fruit? The cherry versus... Yeah. I don't know. Is that the Wikipedia? Yes, it's, it's massive. Quite, well, Pac-Man was quite the game. <laughs> okay. Here is the original Pac-Man. Oh, that's awful. 1981. Ooh. Can you even see that streamed? That is crazy. The colors... Well, this is the oh. demo colors, so... He is yellow. Even have like a triangular mouth. Oops. I, I love that noise though. Oh, that was really short. The, the level what? is crazy. <laughs> it is certainly different. He, he, oh my God, he stops it's over. You, he stops you from moving too. Oh, oh he Stop. still turns into a banana though. Banana. <laughs> he he opens up in bananas. Yeah. Aww. Oh, what a weird! The level is really, st and you disappeared for. It's <laughs> Quite like a while. It, you get a little rest moment there. <laughs> a little bit. That is hilarious. I think but I like, might have it on hard though. Yeah, that's. Yeah? I've got it set to hard because that's way too short. I can barely even get close to a ghost. It's over. Oh wow. I mean, as a game, it's fine. Like, it has a maze, it has a Pac-Man, it has ghosts, it has pellets and power pellets, and and a little bonus fruit thing. It's not called a fruit, it's like a wafer or something they named it. A wafer. I can't remember what, <laughs> what they called it, but it wasn't a fruit. Aww. And the death sound is okay. Yeah. Sorry, this isn't a homebrew game. We're going a little bit... Oh, we're comparing we're going it, old so. school. Oh, old, school. <laughs> old school. Yeah. You kind of need to see the difference, though. <laughs> yeah. It's... So, and then repeat forever. So, now let's go to the 8K Pac-Man. This was 
uh, the, this is the newest version that's been released on the Atari Age forums. Uh, version 7 of December 2016, so it might be the last one that they're going to make. Maybe not. Maybe. Nothing's been done on it since then. Yeah, look at that. Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde. That's very much like the arcade game. It's got a title screen. It's got an attract mode. Mm. And it's got flicker handling routine. No flicker. <gasps> when none of them are on the same line, there's no flicker. Mm. When two of them get on the same line, there's a little bit. When four are on the same line, lots of flicker. And the Pac-Man flickers. Perfect music. You know what? I was, I was trying to figure out what looks funny about the Pac-Man. And it's like he doesn't open his lips open very much. <laughs> You know? Not quite wide enough? Yeah, it's well, like not the a full... At the yeah, the Pac-Mans at the bottom have the full opening, you know, like where you've got like the full quarter chunk taken out. Yes. But he just kind of opens his mouth just enough <laughs> to eat those little those little power pellets. So. Well, they are thin little wafers. They are not, little wafers. They're not dots like in the original. No, so that's true. That's he doesn't true. need to open his mouth quite as big. It's but. just... It, 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 yeah, it's like he has little lips or something. <laughs> something about the animation. Little Pac-Man lips. Yeah. The sound is way better in this one. Um, Pac-Man animation. He seems a little, a little slower. Weird. Uh, a little, a little, a little off. He's a little slower in this. Um, the ghosts look a little bit better in this one. Sharper. Yeah. yeah the maze is pretty much the same. -ish. I'd have to see them side by side. Um, actually, he didn't use the tr as much of the trick of holes in the maze, because there are some, like, right here on the side here. There's no holes in the maze. But in the middle of the maze, there is holes. So he was able to cover up some of, some of the holes that he needed to make. Right, get out of here, pink ghost. Pink ghost is the problem. Fruit at the bottom look really nice. Mm -hmm. It's got multicolors. Uh, the fruit in the game not multicolor because it's a lot harder to to do that on a line where there's going to be multiple other guys all over the place. This is definitely slower, so it is a lot easier. I may have the settings off. Strawberry? Nope, gone. That was pretty quick. Pretty quick for the strawberry. Yeah. Two oh, how did I miss that? Oh my goodness. He dodged me really well. <gasps> oh. <laughs> controller. Yeah. Not a good controller. Oh, it has a ready speed. too. Nice. It has a ready at the beginning. I will just finish off these little power pellets. <laughs> harmony Encore. Yes, it's a Harmony Encore. And it has cutscenes. And proper music. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Like it's on, on tune. With, it, with, with the, extra, multi. the extra memory. Yes. Yes. I don't know if he uses the um, DPC plus chip or not. Ooh. Yeah, the graphics on the bottom I right it. corner is nice. The green little thing. But it didn't have a green thing. No, yeah, it's, it's just not possible. Too complex with the Atari? It's too complex. Can't do too many colors on the same line. Just not enough time. Not enough time to do that. Atari only has two sprites. Two players, they call it, to work with. And when you're having, like, up to five things on the same line, like, for all four ghosts and the Pac-Man could be on that line, you're not going to be drawing too many colors. Ha ha ha. 
So this is probably as good as it's going to get for Atari 2600 Pac-Man, which is pretty damn good. It is pretty good, yeah. Oh, what? There's two peaches? What is happening? Is <laughs> it's, that... it's the double peach level. Like, is that... That's not how it works. <laughs> is it? No, I don't think so. That's strange. Hmm. Maybe they weren't finished drawing all the... That's something they left to do yet? Although I'm not familiar with the... Anybody out there watching can type what the fruit is for Pac-Man? We weren't able to find it quickly. For the various levels. Yeah, I know I mean, it's Miss Pac-Man is like... Cherry, strawberry, peach, obviously, but yeah. uh, I don't know what comes so after I'm, that. So I'm on the third level? Then? Uh, fourth, yeah. because the oh, peach, fourth. peach double was peach. the third. Maybe it is double peach. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I don't think it is double peach. No, 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 no. It doesn't no. seem it, right. it, No, no, it's not... Oh! Whoa, oh, he slows down. That's really weird. Do they slow down in the pass through? In the arcade? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Oh, no. oh I'm oh, dead. Oh, oh I'm not oh, dead. Good job. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that little S curve at the end, but. Now it's Apple. Oh, now I'm moving fast. Apple. Oh, that's weird. Double peach and then Apple. Maybe it was in Nectar. That. This controller is yeah, it's not a, appropriate. Yeah, it, it's a little slippery. <laughs> Makes me go directions I don't want to go. Yeah, in. I don't, I don't. That, that is a little. Uh, oh, ah, that was short. See, I didn't oh, that go was that way. so short. I'm good. You're good. Okay. <laughs> I've got my Pac Man pill. Okay, we're gonna move on to the second game, and I'm gonna switch, because I remember, to second graphic. There we go. And uh, this one is not released on cartridge. Um, this is Donkey Kong, or it's actually DKVCS. Okay. It might be the final name, because they can't use the words Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong because that's trademark. Mm. Um, but whether they can put it out at all, mm. maybe not. It's mm. difficult because you've got gameplay, it's copyrighted. You've got the look of things that's copyrighted. Yeah, well, they still make Donkey Kong games, don't they? Oh, man, yeah. Donkey Kong's a big hot commodity still. Yeah. <laughs> Same with Pac-Man. They still put out Pac-Man games here and there. Like Yeah, but not, not as frequently. Every, not like Donkey think. Kong. Not like no. Donkey Kong, which has its whole franchise of, of games so. so this uh this build was put out uh march 4th 2017 and on the atari age forums this is touted as version 1.0 like it's done okay like he's totally happy with it this is put out by joe musashi and uh do you want to read mm -hmm. or do you want to play first I'll play. Well, yeah, I'm not very good at Donkey Kong. It won't last very long. Neither am I. Donkey Kong's actually a really hard game. It is game. extremely hard. And I haven't played a lot of it, so. Um, and this nice. is miles past the original Donkey Kong on Atari 2600, which we'll look at after as well. Like, this has music, it has interstitial graphics and animation, and the sound is amazing. There she is. It's Pauline, right? I think as this. Uh, now this is a little different. Uh, they aren't sloped, and the barrels are a little bit in different spots. But yeah. So this is DK VCS by Joe Musashi, 2017. Donkey Kong VCS is a new conversion of the original arcade game for the Atari 2600 video computer system, sporting 32k of ROM. This version, for the first time, features all four arcade stages, as well as all cutscenes. Additionally, the game includes multicolored graphics, plus arcade quality, animation, and sound. You dead or like? It was one death. Oh, one? Yeah. But I'm I'm still trying to figure out the controls. So. Okay. Hmm. I thought it was more than one life. What? 
I only get one life? Yeah. That's weird. According to this. Plus arcade quality animations and sounds. Maybe you do only get one life? That doesn't seem right. So let me read the article oh, that I linked. Oh. Barrel search. No, but I was having <laughs> trouble getting up the... Oh. The... Let me just switch the... Oh, maybe the difficulty. Yeah. Let me just switch that. No, still with one life. The article that I linked... Um, oh, also, look, I have pitfall socks today. Very nice. <laughs> and they're actually really good because the graphic goes right down to the foot with the alligators. Love it. Um, Guinness World Record disqualifies Billy Mitchell's perfect Pac-Man run and other achievements. Billy Mitchell's perfect Pac-Man run and high, highest score, as well as his Donkey Kong score, made famous in the documentary King of Kong, A Fistful of Quarters, will no longer be recognized by the Guinness, Wor Guinness World Records, organization told Variety on Friday. The decision to remove all the, gr the world records is driven by news yesterday that Twin Galaxies, which is Guinness's official source for verification of these achievements, was stripping all of Mitchell's high scores and banning him from future attempts. After it was discovered that he was not playing on a regulation arcade version of Donkey Kong to set his record. Twin Galaxies wrote Thursday in a statement that Mitchell's famous Donkey Kong score of 1,047,200 was not achieved on an arcade machine, a requirement for Twin Galaxies and Guinness, but rather through the use of emulation software. Using emulated software and not the original circuit board version of the games mean a player could cheat in any number of potentially undetectable ways. That's why all submitted high scores must be from playing on an original, unmodified arcade machine. Uh, disqualify. We also recognize records for first perfect score on Pac-Man and highest score on Pac-Man. Twins Galaxies was the original source of verification for these record titles, and in line with their decision to remove all of Mitchell's records from their systems, we have disqualified Mr. Mitchell as the holder of these two records. Guinness World Records will look to update and find the appropriate holder of these new records in the next few days. Mitchell has not responded to Variety's request for comments. So, he wrecked... Well, he, it's not like he's a bad player. He didn't like... He's not bad at these games. He can play these games. Yeah, well, he, he played them... He just can't play them to the extent that he says he can play them. You have to climb up that before another barrel comes. Well... On the right-hand side. The ladder. Yeah, but I... I was trying to do it there and it would blow oh. up. So mm. they, Maybe it won't let you The controls up. aren't very good. <laughs> There's definitely some kind of niggly issues with yeah. the, it's the not, positioning. It's, it's not, not a great. finished version. Yeah. It's not bad. It's just, yeah, it's a little frustrating. Can I'm not get, sure if, if it's the controller too. That's and you only get one, a little sensitive. One life, which uh -huh. is not right. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's a little, yeah, it needs a bit more leeway on the ladders. Ooh, won't do that. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and that's... Yeah, it needs a bit more room on either side of the ladders so you, it detects um, that you're going up. Let you jump backwards, which is really cool. Level two. This one really can't do. Okay. Level three. What is going on here? This one's the hard level, oh, which the I will one die with the on. Oh, the jumpies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna die on those jumpy things for sure. Should I jump here? I think I'll jump up here. Come on. Oh my goodness. Is it really this slow to come back? Oof. I can jump there. Yeah, I can. Now, if this is arcade perfect, you have to stand like there. 
Oh, wow. And then go up like that. Interesting. But they move slightly. Mm -hmm. I only know this from watching the documentary, <laughs> not actually <laughs> playing it. Um, because I don't play a lot of Donkey Kong. I played a lot on the... Intelli Coleco, maybe? Come on, get rid of that hammer. Come on. Come on. So has it always been if you have the hammer, you can't go up a ladder? Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. I, Your I, hands I, are I busy. thought maybe that was just this version of the game. Oh, is that oh, it? Is the game off. over? Yeah, game over for you. <laughs> one life game over. So there's a flashing one up, though, so I don't know. No? Let's see. Is there any game select? No. Oh, Japanese and U.S.? Mm. What? What the hell's Japanese version of it? Mm. That's very odd. Okay, we're playing the Japanese version now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if there's any changes. Left difficulty needs to be set to B. Oh, thank you. Let's restart that. Thank you. Thank you very... <laughs> there we go. Who said that? Dana VC. Thank you, Dana VC. Because that was annoying. I did make it to level four on one life, which is something. <laughs> Yeah, once you've got the hammer, you have to keep it in your hands. The whole time? The whole time. Okay. And in the original okay, arcade, those come. barrels went all the way down to the oil barrel. Well, they rolled, didn't they? Yeah, they went yeah. all the way down. And this yeah. one, it doesn't yeah. make it to... It's not shifted, either. You mean on a slope? Yeah. Yeah, no. Which is... It's very difficult to do, actually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on a 2600. Yeah. Yeah. So they just made them flat. Uh, which same, is probably a same compromise. Thing. Same thing. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make any difference really it's probably just easier to program and of course the screen is wide and not high so they made it scrolling mm. in the original there's no scrolling and and all the early you know in television coleco and 2600s versions they just made it really squishy ah. It's like food. Yeah, they're pies. Oh, pies. Pies on a conveyor belt. Ah, <laughs> I'm like, they look like like bowls of oatmeal or something. <laughs> Could be. Because <laughs> they're kind I of mean, wide. To be anything identifiable at all on a 2600 is a feat in is itself. It? Yes, that's very true. <laughs> What's on the opposite side there? Uh, that's a hat. The thing on the, the yeah. shelf? I think it's a hat. Oh, no. Now I've you've done, done it. it. <laughs> Should have gone up further. Uh, I have to go all the way no. over and up. Okay. I'm not going to get that high. I'm just going for levels to see if I can complete it. And and you notice they didn't... They show him carrying her up. It's really good animation, yeah. but they don't show her standing there because no. it's just too many, too many graphics to do. Mm. Ah! I'm going to get that hammer. Just easier. And they've got the, the, the right music, too. Really good music here. And they've got really good graphics, actually, I, I should say, for, for Mario. Because he's multicolored. He's got three colors. Mm -hmm. And they achieved that, obviously, by uh, Flicker. <laughs> ah! What? I didn't think they could come up the ladder. I was mistaken. That was very dangerous, but uh, uh, it's very hard to jump over these dudes because they're so tall. Yes, did all four levels. Good job. Without dying. Oh, what? He's there without flicker. That's pretty good. That's really good. How high can I get? So now, oh, the two. barrels are moving now. Okay, let's see. Did the barrels create a fire guy? Oh, Ooh, just in time, I think. Yeah. Yep, just in time. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, those barrels. Ooh. Oh my god, the barrels are moving past now. That didn't take long. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, the fire guys come too. Watch this. 
can bounce off the walls just like in the arcade. That's really cool. And the fireballs in the original can go up and down ladders. And they do start on the bottom level and, and work they, their and way they, up they, instead they of warm start. Up. Yeah, instead of start on the second level. Mm. Okay, come on. And the barrels can make it all the way down to the bottom. It's like it knows I'm there. Come on. But in this one, there's only one barrel at a time. Um, in the arcade, there's two, but that's a lot of a lot of drawing. Ah, oh, I'm just struggling with the controls to even. I'm gonna have to take the risk. Yeah. <laughs> there's just not enough time. Like. There's not enough time to jump over it. Actually, I should... Yeah, jump over it, because you don't know if it's coming down the ladder, so you can't be on the ladder. I think I'm going to have trouble this one. With the I, oatmeal? <laughs> yeah, the oatmeal's going to come fast and furious. <laughs> or maybe not. I am enjoying the oatmeal. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What? Oh, the, the like ladders reversed. go up and, up and down. They did... <gasps> oh, killed by oatmeal! Because uh, the conveyor belt switches directions. Mm. Whoa, did I get an extra life? I must have, because I just had two two lives again. That's pretty good. Well, I'm at 22,000, so maybe it was at 20,000? Okay. That oatmeal needs to be well out of the way. <gasps> oh, I went to the fire! Ah. <laughs> uh. You, I, you know that I use this game for the Harmony Games high score. Oh, you can use this game for the Harmony Harmony Games high score. Oh, is that the um, high score competition that they do on the forums? Oh, okay. Well, I don't think I'm going to make high score. <laughs> Neither of us. <laughs> Damn. Oh, what it wasn't even. It mm. likes to sneak up on you. Mm. It's the oatmeal. Yes. Yeah. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Okay, I'm now terrible, with, with terrible three, at this you game. You have three lives. Uh, you have to at least. You have to finish this with first level. Because you're. Uh, that, I might be able to finish the first because level. Because you were to the ladder and you just I'm didn't just go not, up. I'm just not. I'm not used to. Um, well, Pauline is above him. Maybe you just can't see her. Yeah, I'm going to be starting to do the high score club at some point. Because <laughs> I see them posted all the time and I want to enter into them. Oh no, it's not, it's not on the Atari Age forums. It's on, um, is it oh. Atari Age um, Facebook group? Or is it the home Homebrew? No, it's the Atari Age because Homebrew will be exclusively Homebrew stuff. It's the Art Atari Age group on Facebook. Yeah, I should definitely try for some of those. Especially when it's a game that I'm half decent at, but if I'm half decent at it, there's gonna be a lot more people that are half decent at it. No, you have to run and jump. No way you can clear the barrel standing still. I like I say, I don't play this game. I don't know the <laughs> the physics of it that well. Right. So. so you don't know all the the yeah. right way to do things. Probably know Pac-Man more than I know this game. Oh, so. and Atari Age as well. Okay. Cool. So hopefully this does get released on cartridge, but because of it being Nintendo's property and like the music oh, is there <laughs> and the graphics look so similar, I don't think it's going to happen. So let's take a look <laughs> at what this looked like mm. originally. On um, the Atari 2600. Some people thought that this. Was this the game that they. People thought they intentionally crippled and made terrible? Mm. Because they only had two levels on the 2600 instead of a uh, three that was on the Coleco. Um, so people thought, oh, because it's Coleco got the license to license it for Atari, um, that they made it worse <laughs> to make theirs look better. You're first. Mm. So it has, it has the slope on here and it has the full screen. 
and it has a gingerbread. Man. I was gonna say. <laughs> Everybody calls run, him the run gingerbread man. Run, run as fast man. as you can. <laughs> but it has Pauline and a pretty good Pauline too. Yeah. Like the colors, like really good colors. The barrels are fine. They look like cookies. <laughs> he, you know what? What's that? What's the um, Cookie Crisp? He looks like the burglar on Cookie on the Cookie oh, Crisp. Yes. Uh, box <laughs> if anyone knows that reference at all um yeah he, they totally look like uh chocolate chip cookies so that is so awesome dana vc says arena foot got fifty two thousand on the harmony game wow that is I impressive could, well i got how much did i get i got at least 22 20 when i said 22 <laughs> so maybe, maybe i got up to 25 i didn't see um Dana VC says you got your cookie crisp reference. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think I ever ate cookie crisp. Right no. Now. Verboten. Uh, uh, Not allowed. Yeah, too, we, too we were a kind of a no sugar allowed kind of household, but uh, or sugary cereals, but um, but they always looked very intriguing. Yes. I mean, like that, that, it's that, basically that. cookies in milk. I know. That's all it was. I know. Disguised as a balanced breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to clear out all the, all those things. Walk over them. Keep going left. Left. What? Keep going right then. Keep going. Keep I going. don't understand what Keep I'm doing. Keep moving there. So you got it? What did I get? You clear out all those little dots. Keep going. Keep going. There. Oh. Oh, it stops them from... As, as per usual, it's a construction site <laughs> where you have to clear out all the girder, girder things. And this this level is actually not bad. I have to do all of them or no? Yeah, one, two, three more No, I did do the one down go. there. Bottom left, you missed. Do I have to go back and do it? Yep. Oh. There's no time on it, so just don't touch the lamps. <laughs> is that what they are? They're supposed to be fireballs, I'm guessing. Um, but uh, they look like... You know, golden lamps that you rub <laughs> to get a genie. Like Aladdin, out of them. Aladdin's, Aladdin's lamp. Aladdin's lamp. Yeah. Gotcha. You have two more to get. <laughs> Games back in these times oh. were so sensitive. Oh, to, I know, I know, I know. To like precision, absolute precision. Keep running, keep running, jump. There you go. So that's the two levels. <laughs> Oh, I see. And you just redo the two levels. Over and over uh, and over and over. I gotcha. Well, we're back to the uh, cookie crisp. Oh, when they fall down the ladders, they look like barrels. Not bad. Oh, we, oh yeah. No, no. I'm not saying... Uh, yeah. They do, oh, they do uh, have some barrel shape to them. Um... Jump. Oh, oh you, have to, you do have to move as you jump. That's it for you. I think this game actually starts with the fire button. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Terrible. No, it starts when you press the fire button after you've reset it. At least it does that. Oh my god. It'd be perfect on the ladder. And he looks like... Um, there's a game that I played in the Commodore 64. What? Nah, you didn't quite make it. Uh, and he had a big nose like this guy. And I can't remember. He was... Look, I'm not even touching it. It was a whole pixel away from it. I'm having a redo after this. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Never beat Billy Mitchell's score at this rate. I'll have to use Mame. Oh, they still make co Cookie Crisp. Oh, really? <laughs> a totally different mascot, though. It looks like a wolf. A wolf? Yeah, yeah, there's like a wolf mascot. I'm going to try and oh. find an old right, one. So there's there's the wolf. Oh, what was he before? He was like a he was a burglar. He was. I'm trying to find the cookie crisp burglar. I guess they didn't want to portray burglars on <laughs> criminals on I don't their know. cereal packages. They'd rather put on anthropomorphic wolves. Yeah. 
or cat. I can't quite tell. Well, I, that I, was I a wolf, for certainly, sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. There's there's old school. Didn't show it up. Okay. Yeah. You... I don't know. Yeah, it'll be good enough. They'll see it. Yeah, yeah. You can't tell me that burglar doesn't look like um, Mario. Well, he's got a... Yeah, he's got a red hat. He's and... got a red hat. Okay, the cat's I'll in. pull it back. See? The cat's in. See? Yeah, and Cookie's on his hat and a yeah. purple, purple I mean, he's shirt. got a purple shirt and blue pants. But he's got blue shoes. He's got blue shoes. Uh -huh, yeah. You want me to let the cats in? Yeah. All right, we're going to have a visit set. from Either Atari, Atari or Pixel or both. Or both. Oh, hi. Hi, buddy. It's Atari. Come here, Atari. Ah. Ah. We have to start all over again. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Her? Sweetheart. Can you see him? Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you can see him. I'm lifting my legs a little. It's like, yeah, the Aladdin's lamp, sort of. Yes. It's yeah. It's pretty next to useless mm. hammer. <laughs> you can only kill one guy with it. Yeah, it's not like you can't go up the ladders with it, which no, is a shame. No, you can't. He does have a hand free. I guess he could go up one-handed, yeah. but he, he prescribes to OSHA. OSHA? OSHA. <laughs> uh, office uh, safety and hazardous... I don't know. The thing you have to... Safety. You have to, it's uh, requirements uh, on this on the job where you have to be occupational health and safety. Uh, occupation health and safety. Yeah. So no no hammering and climbing ladders at the same time. <laughs> no, it's one or the other. Yeah. Oh, and the hammer's way up here in this one. Because oh. it's at the bottom on the uh, actual yeah. game. Oh, missed it. Uh, yeah. Couldn't last. Come yeah, on. Uh, the purrs. Hold them up to the microphone. <laughs> Hold them up to the microphone? <laughs> purr. He's a purr monster. He'll probably stop. No, no. Oh, he doesn't stop. Uh-oh, I'm dead. There you go. Some cat love for you for the, for your Friday evening. So. <laughs> yeah. This guy does not stop purring. No. You no. touch him and he purrs. He, he just, you don't even just... have to touch him. He'll climb on you and yeah, start purring. Yeah, he's full of love. So is this, are you still, what level are you on? Uh, this would be four. Oh my goodness. Lost track of uh, your level there. Oh yes, I know. I know. You were locked out. Is that four. counting down? Oh, that's not my score. That's timer. Timer? Yep. Timer is how much point, how many points you get. Oh. oh what's he doing? Watch him. I think he's chewing the cable. Level five. Oh, I know why it pauses, so you can see your score. Come here. Come here. Yeah, now I'm not doing too bad. Yeah, no, you're doing, you're doing very well. Don't go down that. You're yeah. definitely yeah. better at Donkey Kong <laughs> than I am. It's not my, not my favorite game. Hi. Hi. This is a tactic where you just... Go up one side and then down the other side. Watch sure that he doesn't show on the cable. He's, he's okay. I've got one on Oh, the ladders are uneven. You can't... What? You can't continue going down a ladder and you can't press down. You have to move. Well, you have to, you you have have to, to move shift. A bit yeah, you have to shift a little bit. And then do it. Yeah. Come on, get out of here. Uh, get out of here. Ah, close. And they hang. Close. They hang over the edge too. Yeah, they do. This is like the safe but slow way mm -hmm. of clearing out this. It's always nice when you freeze in the midair, mm -hmm. <laughs> completing a level. So it does flash up your score in between levels. I'm going for the high score. <laughs> no, I have no men left, so no chance. Ah, no chance. It's probably the best I've ever done on this game. <laughs> Not that it's terribly difficult yet. 
Yeah, we're not playing homebrew yet again. <laughs> but it's on purpose well, no, it's, it's to all, compare it's and all contrast. Related. Okay, good. I think I think you get thirty two seven hundred. How you, does you develop your appreciation for the homebrew games when you yes. see the originals because it just shows you how far how much people have learned as far as coding yes. coding these more simpler well not simpler, but you know what I mean. Um oh, uh, more more um, restricted game systems. And, yes, how much uh, they can squeeze out of squeeze them. Squeeze out of it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we're on to the third game of the night. Atari's very excited. Yes, yes. he oh, is. Oh, little guy. What game is it? It is Oystron. Ooh. Let's yeah. see. Oh, nice. This one's actually a very old homebrew. <laughs> this is from 1997. Really? Yes. Wow. One of the original homebrews. I can't remember when the first homebrew came out. This mm. is this is an old one. Hmm. I have not played this further than um, barely looking at it at, at one point. So I don't really know how to play it. Okay. So I do you have a first. manual? Yeah, you go. I, ahead. I couldn't find my actual manual. You have it. Up I there do somewhere? have it, mm -hmm. but I did download the instructions so that okay. we can read them. All right. So I'm gonna give it a go. I'm just gonna look at the difficulty switches because these always make me mad when we have them on the wrong difficulty switches. Mm -hmm. Well, like um, what were, what were we playing last time? Uh, uh, that four up, the four or the three games had won. Yeah. Where the colors were all oh. off and we were having a terrible time and oh, we realized the black terrible. and white. Boy, wasn't the black and white switch? Was black flipped? and white switch because the colors yeah. were insane. Yeah, yeah. It didn't yeah. make any sense. Yeah. Um, As... Very important uh, design to play on NTSC. Um, use player two, player position A. See? There we go. Now we're. It doesn't matter because the Frame Meister deals with it, mm. <laughs> but we should be playing on NTSC. Oh, yeah, that looks different. There we go. Very different. Um, runs slightly faster in NTSC. Okay. And he says play it in NTSC even if you have a PAL TV because it's slower in NTSC. Good. That's all we need to know for now. Let's see how we do. Oh, I haven't even switched it back. So you guys haven't seen it yet. There we go. And switch the game. There Good we job. go. Yay. Oystron, I did it for all three. That is quite almost perfectly um, on time. I, I I do really like the uh, the art on <laughs> the cart too. Yes. It has a real nice. Uh... So we're. Oh, it's really quiet. Oh, oh no oh, no no! no. Whoa! It's a very floaty ship. I really like the gradations of color. That is what the Atari is good at. Mm. Okay, so I shoot these guys, collect a dot, and lay down the dot. You lay down dots? Yeah. I can collect it, and then I can put it where I want it. So what's the point of the dots, of putting the dots? Do you, do you have to fill I, the screen? No idea. But there is a line <laughs> in the middle. Okay. You have to fill it, maybe, to the line? Oh, don't touch those things. Maybe I fill it to the line. Uh, let's get that. Let's put it there. Get that. Put it... Oh, that... Oh, they're eating my dots! Get... Oh, my... What the... Okay, I lost a whole bunch of dots there. Oh, missiles. Okay, I should pay more attention to the bad guys. Whoa, what is that? Oh, I can't kill it. Get back. Maybe I can kill it from behind. Nope. Okay, maybe I just can't kill it. <laughs> and I die. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Looks Do you like want me to I've read won. The instructions? Not yet. Okay. Not till you play. Or you can read the instructions. No, no, no. It's fine. Oh, am I starting over? Oh, I did. Okay, your turn. I, I, I... <laughs> no. Is no. it just playing? I accidentally started over. Oh, you played it. Okay. Let's start it over. 
Okay. I know a little bit of what's going on. Covered in cat fluff now. Oh, don't hit those tea guys. What, what guys? The teas? And I can't kill them? Maybe you have to... Oh, I can kill them from behind. Okay. I can kill the tea guys from behind. The asteroids don't seem to do any damage if I miss them. Whoa, whoa those guys disappear and come back. The asteroids, you need to get the, the pellets. Yes, so I do need to collect them. Oh, and they bounce all over the place, so that's okay. Oh, I have to be more careful. Those guys are eating up my dots. Get out of here. Oh. Oh, another guy coming. Try to you guys from behind. I get a lot of stuff filled in now. Ugh. Be more careful not to hit things. There's a lot of stuff on the screen. Very impressed with how much stuff is on the screen. But they took advantage of the... If you want to put a lot of stuff on the screen, just go horizontal with... Okay, so if you put eight pearls in a row, which are those pink things, oh, okay. you get a bomb. Oh, okay. Well, let's do eight. Or die. <laughs> let's start over. <laughs> get a bomb. How do you trigger the bomb? It doesn't say. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just uh, Beware of, that, of the enemies that will reach the left border of the play field since they will try to steal your pearls. Okay. So the purple things are space oysters. Oh, that okay. have pearls. That's why they drop oh, pearls. Yeah, they're space oysters. They look like just um, meteors or asteroids. Stolen or lost pearls bring undesired guests in. These guys become very annoying from level three onwards. Okay. So get rid of them as as soon as possible. You can't kill them, but you can send them out of the playfield, pushing them left with your shots. Whoa! How come I can't? Space oh. oyster. Yeah, I couldn't kill him. Be harder than others. That guy. You gotta. Well, and then he sends that. Yeah, the enemy. Really annoying blue guy that you can't kill. Okay, I've almost got eight. Oystrun phase. Ah. Near the end of each level, you'll hear a warning signal and the screen will flash. After a few mo moments, the Oystrun will enter and your standard shots will be disabled. From this moment, you can either kill him, dropping the bombs and oh, letting okay. letting him step over them, or wait until he gets bored and mutates into a space oyster. Okay. You lose the bonus points if you let the Oystrun go away. This is not easy. Mm. Plus making stupid mistakes. Didn't listen to too much about the bonus level because I'm not even close to it. <laughs> well, there's the warp ah. phase. So, warp phase. During the warp phase, this is after the Oystron comes up. Yeah. Which is at the end of the level. You'll travel at high speed between space oysters and enemies. The risk of collision will be high, but now everything is worth 100 points. A new level will start immediately after the end of the warp phase with more enemies and troubles waiting for you. Okay. So each space oyster, you get 10 points. Uh, enemies, formation destroyed, 30 points. Oystron, killed with a bomb, 1,530 points. And then 100 points for every bomb you have left. Oh my god. Can it, can you make a line? Did you start over again? Yep. I keep running into things. You have to get those little guys. They're enemies. No, I don't want to take... They kill the whole, mm. the whole line. Vertically or horizontally? Vertically. Ver or sorry, horizontally. Okay. Not horizontally. I only had one. Some oh, of them having, hard. Don't know. Some of them are. Oh, probably because he pat he got past my. Um, Maybe. Well, I can't go that far. I can only go to here. Ah. No, no, you got hit by an enemy. Yeah. That's why you died. Yeah, but I was I was trying to go further, but I couldn't. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, those get weak. Okay. 
like, yeah, it's good to kill the space oysters, but you really want to kill the enemies. The momentum. Is okay. it floaty? It's very floaty. Yeah. Well, you I'll, you finish your game. Or I is did. this new? I'll reset. Oh, it just it just. It's very sensitive to restarting. Because the button restarts oh, the game without a pause. Like you can hold it down. Oh Whoa, boy! What, did, what, what 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 is going on? Why did you get that all of a sudden? I don't know. That's is that the oystron? How did that happen? I was like holding down my my fire button. Oh, maybe you have to hold it down. But I swear I was holding it down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> am, I, am I on the same level you started at? This yeah. seems really crazy. Same level. I don't know how you got that craziness just mm -hmm. happening. Because that was, that was out of control. Start over and start it over. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I start over like ten times. Oh, see, I keep running into things. <laughs> Terrible. It's because it's so floaty. that your shots oh, it, is, it is floaty but it's funny it doesn't always feel floaty your shots stay exactly at this there's only eight positions for your shots but you can move anywhere you want which makes sense i got killed again <laughs> it's like i don't even see it coming it's terrible it's really really oh because some of, some of them some of them you shoot multiple times there we go can i try it yep some of them you shoot multiple times, and yet it doesn't kill them. Yes. And that's what's kind of frustrating is... Those, those purple blocks you can't kill at you all. Just, you just have to just avoid them. Oh. If you go touch that thing and don't press the fire button, you can lay it where you want. So you can go yeah. eight in a row if you if you have time to do that. Well, no, you can you can only hold on to one at a time. Apparently. No, no, oh really? Yeah, I thought I, 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 thought thought I... I held on to two at one point. Let's see. Oh, floating pearls that reach the left border may mutate into enemies, so oh. you, you should get the pearls. As best as you can. Yeah. Easier said than done. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> or they may bounce back. Oh, oh those oysters, they kill you. <laughs> So, I swear some of these guys like purposely they don't. So as a story to this says basically Oysteron started when as an exercise in Atari 2600 programming earlier this year. When on Stella List, the Atari VCS programmer's mailing list, we were discussing about how to reuse a sprite to put more objects on the screen. After many lines of code I realized that I almost had all the elements for a full game. This was only the beginning of the real challenge. The Atari 2600 is a classic video game system, so this had to be a game with true classic feeling. I tried to recreate the fun and excitement of the great early games, so you may find elements of Sinistar, Defender, and Ripoff in Oystron, but you'll have to be the judge. This is a super challenging game, that's for sure. I'm doing better than me. Maybe you're playing it more calmer than I was. I don't know if I'm that calm. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think I was just flying around the screen way too much. Three? Yeah, yeah, you can lay all three. There's no limit. Oh, 
it's really hard to get that front the slot. Front one, yeah. Because you put yourself in danger. Yes. Only one more to go. There you go. Oh. <laughs> My turn. Oh, if you want. <laughs> enemies on the screen so it makes it really really challenging I'm gonna just try and finish a line here oh they're stealing my oysters not that I care down there like you don't get penalized for there's eight okay I did it I don't know what happens when you get eight you just get a bomb I think oh my god I think that's what it said you just get a bomb for later for the why can't I shoot that is it because it's past that that point oh I was doing so well okay just have to calm down this is a game of being calm 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 those guys steal they do steal one it's not too bad now, I do have to figure out whether if the Oh no, that one wasn't even past the line and it was being difficult. They do become more difficult when they get past the line. Curry doesn't know whether he wants out or not. I know. Oh. It's a fun I, game. I did create a line. Okay, so what happens? You get a bomb when you create a line yeah. for later? For later when the Oystron shows up. Oh. Okay. Which is when it, everything goes all flashy. It's about to change levels. Oh, okay. Yeah. So these are oysters, but they're not Oystrons. No. Oystrons like the big boss guy. Yeah. Okay. So what you want to do is... Kill all the bad guys. Kill as many bad guys. Yeah, and the bad guys kill off all your pearls in that row. Moving. You want to get anything that's not an oyster on off the screen yeah some of, oh, oh some of the oysters i have a lot of trouble some, killing some why? some don't kill it easily and i don't know i don't know why that is so now i have a bomb yeah okay yeah some of you shoot and they're like nope no nope, no nope, not gonna die yeah nope. some some you're shooting like multiple times gotta get the yellow guy <laughs> so you can't put yourself in danger thinking that you can shoot the oyster with one shot. No, you can't. You have to give yourself distance, really. Or you're taking a risk, basically. Yeah. Oh, start over. <laughs> well, part of it is the floatiness of it, too. Yes. That makes it it's really momentum. hard. You, you float into something without, without meaning to, but... Uh... Well, it is space. There is momentum. You have to put on the reverse thrusters. Get out of here. Very colorful game. That's for sure. Oh, you can't shoot them from that side. No, you have to shoot them from the other side. They've got a shield. Like that blue guy. Yeah. I'm gonna try and finish this horizontal area. Did you shoot it? Did you get your thing back? You do. Oh, totally it's on. He's not, I, I, I don't oh, know, he dangerous. could be moving, but it's like, I consider it like two coming at you at once, so. E, pretty much, yeah. yeah. Like warping in and out. Oh, I've almost got a row. Another row, oh, I started over, so not another row, a row. A row, one bomb. <laughs> so I haven't actually been to the final level. Or the boss, I guess. It's challenging. putting them there. Well, because you're trying to shoot at the same time, right? Yeah. It's hard to hold on to them when there are things coming at you. That is a mark of a good game, is <laughs> gameplay <Complexity>. balance. Complexity. <laughs> Complexity and balance yeah. between uh, risk and reward is what it's um, termed as in a game. So you can get risk, but there's a, uh, I mean, you can get a reward, but there's risk. Can you 
fix that cat, what that cat just did. What's Either cat stepped on something or chewed through something that turned off the light. I don't know what happened there. I'll check the cable in. This light? No, no, the, the big light that's in the closet there. The one that's in the stand that's up. Yeah, it's Check the plugs. Just check all of the plugs. The cat turned off the light. <laughs> I don't know how, but he did. He stepped on a cable there. Is it loose? Did you secure loose. something? It was loose. I don't think it went Bad cat. Okay, you're out the door. Yep. There he gets go. to leave. <laughs> Can't go turning off lights in the how studio. How do that? Jeez. Cats will be able to do crazy things. Yeah. If they're bad. Okay, I think I have two, I have three bombs now. Is that good job? Is I that think that's three? what that is. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get another one in a second. But when does this end? It flash. It will flash, but I'm not sure Randomly? how. I don't know. Hmm. You were strong, I think we saw briefly. Yeah, you just started the game and it was like on. Well, I don't think I don't think it was. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it started flashing. I'm not sure. One more. Oh, there's no four bombs. I'd like to use them, please. <laughs> I don't know how you trigger it. Uh, it. It says between levels, so... Oh, oh, there's a white bar there. You have to get oh, enough points. Oh, is it points or I'm going to guess kills? so. I don't so know. Watch for when it goes up. I think it might be enemies I have to defeat. Yeah, it's points, points. I think. Oh, no, that's... Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, why not? I think it goes up with every round. You know, it flashes and there's there's m more enemies come at you. So, oh, flashes? Like yeah, that? Yeah. Oh, now it's there it is. There's your Oystron. Okay. You want to drop a bomb. I don't know how you drop a bomb, though. I guess I'm still playing. <laughs> Lost all my bombs. I did see a white thing on the screen. But I think that I dropped like four bombs all on top of each other or something. I wasted all of them. I wasn't prepared for what was about to happen. It will be next time. I'm getting better. Oh, for sure. Not dying immediately. <laughs> and I'm gathering bombs. So just concentrating on one area. Is, like, stay at the top. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Mm. That is tough, but very fun. Uh, really challenging. Like such a good variety of enemies too, and the way the enemies move and and how you can shoot some from behind, and some are triplicate, and some are like like you can't just shoot the oyster. Sometimes you have to shoot multiple times at them. Yeah, yeah, those you couldn't, you couldn't even kill them. And it's dangerous because it's like close to you and you're like, oh, I can just kill this oyster. No, no, no. It's like impenetrable. There you go, finish off that line. Yay! One bomb! Yeah, that's it was my tactic. It was just staying in either yeah, the top or the bottom. Yeah, it's like not caring about what's what? happening elsewhere. Because the bombs, what are they going to do? Ugh. Kill one thing on that line? It doesn't matter. You're not paying attention to that thing on the line anyway. So what if they get get one thing? You're trying to make a whole line down here. And in the meanwhile, while you're shooting and collecting things, it's kind of depositing them in like the bottom three rows or whatever, and you can just complete those as as needed. Yeah, you can see. Now that we know a little bit of tactics, yeah, it certainly <laughs> it, it, helps. It makes a, a lot longer game <laughs> and a lot easier game. Now we just have to figure out how to kill the oystron. When it starts flashing, stop firing immediately. 
because I think I wasted all my bombs, like just boom, boom, boom. Yeah, they, you dropped them kind of Yeah, thing? where the Oystron wasn't. So, and then I headed to him and I, I couldn't even shoot him because there's no shots. All you have is bombs. So you're about halfway. So you're not even close to getting the Oystron. I'm going to see how, when that bar goes up. Oh, it just went up. I don't know. Which... It's every round. Oh, it's a round. Every round of new enemies that come by. Okay, so it's like a timed thing then. Whoa, what was that? That was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. I don't know what happened there. It, like, yeah, made that a... enemy like warps back and forth. Yeah, that one's a very dangerous enemy. Like, really visually amazing game. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like so it's, much happened. It's quite unusual too, I, I find. Quite an unusual looking game. Yeah. And usually games like this were you couldn't free you couldn't move freely. It was like boop boop boop. You could only like move in sections. Like you'd only have eight positions. This one you, you can fly all over the place. Oh no, never I trust to do something. Never trust that you could uh, kill the the oyster in one shot. Oh, Almost got two lines done there. Oh. oh! It's like sometimes they just require too much bar power. Yeah. You think you're okay, but no. So I'm gonna work the top. Stay in the top three. Oh, the cat's crying. <laughs> Poor cat. Yeah. Causing trouble in here, but wants to come back. That's how cats are. It says when the pearls get to the left-hand side of the screen, whoa. They can become enemies. They can. But it's usually I when seen... they get to the right hand side, it seems that they Oh, it become... bounces all the way back, yeah. Oh! I That's find them, they get suddenly harder when you're on the, when they pass that line. Yes. That dotted line. I did notice that as well. What? Came out of nowhere. <laughs> and just instant killed me. Is it, oh, it's those guys, right? Yeah, these I guys. I should definitely pay attention to those. I want another <laughs> game. They're terrible. <laughs> oh, look at that guy. Oh, brutal. Yeah, you can't just let those guys go past. You have to kill them. The ones with the three spike, three spikes, three. Oh, are they the ladders? The triple ladder guys. Yeah, the ladder guys. You that... can't ignore them. I should never do that. Yeah, I know. When you get too close. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. Near the end of each level, you'll hear a warning signal and the screen will flash. So that's when you want to stop firing. After a few moments, the oyster will enter and your standard shots will be disabled. From this moment, you can either kill him by dropping bombs, letting him step over them, or wait till he gets bored and mutates into a space oyster. <laughs> you'll lose the bonus points if you let the oyster go away. In both cases, you'll enter the warp phase. We haven't been to the warp phase. No. During the warp phase, you'll travel at high speeds, a high speed between space oysters and enemies. The risk of collision will be high. Now everything's worth 100 points. The new level start immediately after the end of the warp phase. More enemies and troubles waiting you. Okay. Well, we have to make it to the oystron again, though. It's not a short level. Levels are not short. Like, they're pretty long. It takes a long time to finish a level. But I guess if you want enough bombs, because I had like four or five bombs by the time I made it, mm. which you you need that many, so you do need time to collect. It 
doesn't say anything I, about I that I love left-hand that side. you're co- collecting space oysters too. <laughs> Can I just say that it's such a one of those oddly the, um, uh, unusual kind of concepts. Almost like he thought they looked like asteroids, but <laughs> yes. Uh, too boring to just be asteroids or, or you know asteroids that's been done so yes. <laughs> you gotta come up with some other some other um way of distinguishing what they are yeah oh, oh. What, did what did i hit hit the edge of a oyster it must have been and that's how games were back in the 80s there were such weird concepts nothing was realistic probably because they couldn't make things realistic so they just came up with the well, weirdest of concepts and this is, follows along with it. Yeah. Sp- especially being a space game. Everything was a space game. <laughs> oh. Mostly because they couldn't draw anything. So it had just blackness of space. My turn. Grr. No, I'm playing again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel there were some what is that unfortunate, zone unfair uh, <laughs> failures there. Yeah. I think those dots on the left are just to tell you where you to place them well yeah it's it's the pearl zone the pearl it's, zone the, 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 where you can you can put your space yeah space because pearls. it doesn't say anything about it other than be aware the enemies have reached the left border they'll try to steal your pearls it doesn't say anything special about um, the oysters being tougher there I don't think Oh, interesting. They do give you a hint here. Oh, see? Yeah, when they pass that, uh, the line, it's like they become a lot harder to kill. Yeah, you killed that guy in one shot. But that guy took two or three. That oyster. They they give a hint here mm. of staying outside of the pearl zone. Really? And shooting everything. Because well, because some things you have to shoot you... backwards, too. Because you can collect everything without accidentally laying them down. Yeah, that's being true. Right side. That's true. Way more dangerous, but you can collect them. I don't know how many you can actually collect. Well, it seems like. Um, it says you can complete a whole row. So at least eight you can, <laughs> you can store I up. I the floating. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's very sensitive. Last guy. It is. There you go. Oh, two more in that row. Oh. See, I, like I'm not trying to float up two rows, but it just floats up two rows. My turn. All right, all right. <laughs> Challenging. I'm gonna try that tactic of staying outside. Mm. Oh my mm. god, see that? Oh, why am I. F- oh, because I have some pearls. I still do have to collect them, but at least you're not like laying them down. Mm. I think it might be too hard staying on that side. See, the other thing is, is you have to move back and forth to drop your pearls, right? So, I think I think you you're really close to what's what's materializing on that side of the screen. Too close. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna give it a good try. See, that's a problem. You just don't have enough time to get out of the way if you can't shoot them, like the the oysters. Neglecting our chat. <laughs> Sorry, chat. <laughs> That's a sign of a good game. <laughs> See, just oh all yeah, down. Mm, you just go in one direction. Oh, get out of his way! <laughs> it's a mean oystron. Mean. Oh, just an oyster. Oh, sorry, you're right. A mean oyster. A mean space oyster. <laughs> oh, that was risky. With inky colored birds. Are they? Yeah. No, they're, 
Inky. Inky. They're, they're the same. They're same oh, as in, color as Inky. As in Pac-Man Inky. That's right. Not black ink. That's right. Okay. Oh, oh, see? Every once in a while you get a rogue one that's just like, no, you no. can't crack me open. No. Oh, I don't know. It's hard. It's really hard staying on this side. I, die a I don't lot know. Quicker. I feel like staying on that side and laying them and staying within like two or three rows That's a really is a good much tactic. easier tactic. Now we're gonna go. I just have to be very aware to not stay in the way of oyster that I can't kill. lot. You can collect a lot at once. Yeah, at good. least 10 or 12 there. I kind of like this idea though. It really no. makes it challenging <laughs> that it's not like one shot oh. and you kill them all. It's quite variable. It is. Or maybe it's not variable. Maybe they're just hard ones and easy ones. You have to kind of pay attention to that. But the oysters? Um, what hit me? Nothing. Nothing hit me there. <laughs> Nothing at all. I think something hit you. No. Yeah, I think something hit you. I was not you. in the way. Yeah. <gasps> You're going to stay on the left? It's so hard on the right. Yeah. I did much I, worse I, I on the right. I don't want to stay on the right. I don't Maybe with practice, but it's just so much safer. Left, you just have so much more time, and yeah, like like we were doing before, staying in a in a zone and just filling it up. Because I mean, it doesn't matter which row you do. Oh, get too close floaty. to them. No, it's just floaty. Get too risky. No, not risky. <laughs> yeah, when the oyster, uh, when the pearl makes it back, it turns in with those unshootable blocks. At least that one did. Oh, see, it's, oh, it's so it, like that's that makes me kind of crazy. It's like a the floatiness of it. Yeah. Although they do turn into unshootable oh. blocks. It's so frustrating. <laughs> still flashing. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! That guy just takes over. Yeah, he jumps. He, like, warps yeah. from level to, like, really a cool. row to row. Or, yeah. yeah. Sometimes three rows, sometimes two. Sometimes there, he warped, like, all the way down the screen. That's a really amazing mechanic in the game. of the enemies are really really good because um, they're ah. not just solid purple like the oysters are uh, like eight different colors of purple going from light to dark yeah it's beautiful yeah they're very nice looking and even that yellow guys they're like eight different shades of yellow your ship is solid white but that's fine and the pearls that you put down they are 
different gradients of purple. And they switch to green when you lay one down. Wow. Just really nice use of colors in this game. and start it over. Zero bombs. I mean, part of this game is just survival. Oh, of yeah. Making, making it to the Oystron. I think we've seen him twice <laughs> since oh. we've been playing. Yeah. You saw him once. Somehow. I don't know how. I, like, I, immediately. I don't know, because I, I think it, it was the last of your level. Maybe. I think you passed it over to me before it was I actually I was done. Dead? Yeah, oh. I think I think because it didn't make sense. No, it was like immediately. No, I must. Yeah, it must have been my last last month. Because it, it doesn't make sense that that. <laughs> it come immediately. No. Not shoot past an oyster? I mean, a pearl? No, you can't. No, you can't. Not that it matters, because a, a guy doesn't come on that level. Um, no enemies can be on a level with a pearl. So not that it matters. It just forces you to capture the pearl, too, because you can't shoot past it, I suppose. Yeah. Keep alive for just a little bit longer. We'll finally see the Oystron and be able to deal with him, <laughs> knowing what to do. We do have two lives, so there's a good chance. We just play it safe. seem to increase in difficulty throughout. Yeah, I don't know in the, the coming levels. If it's... Probably after the first Oyster on it would get a maybe. little bit harder, a little bit faster. Maybe the there's less oysters to shoot at and more more like bad guys to cut that come. So less opportunity to get bombs. And more steely steely guys trying to take away your oysters or your pearls. Six. You're well equipped. I think you're you're really really close uh, to the next. The oystron. Yeah. After this wave, I think it'll. Here we go. So lay it down there. I tried to. Oh! Just don't run into. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it starts you off pretty close to yeah. the oystron again. It, it, actually, it starts you off slightly behind. Ah. It was saying. So you're you're not actually. And you retain your bombs if you don't mm -hmm. use them. So you still have three. So you have another good chance of spilled my drink all over the couch, so. <laughs> uh, excellent. Yeah. Well, it's water, right? No. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Um, okay. Oh, I got another bomb, though. No. Ah! Oh, you just Oh, that was mean. Oh, you It game. just jumped into me. Game's over. Yeah, that was close. I tried to drop the bomb in that line. I fine? dropped a bomb. No, it's fine. It's okay. Fine. I dropped a bomb in the other line, and then I was trying to hit it, and it I maybe you went right for it. <laughs> oh, I know, and it came that way, but I was I was trying to again Put the floatiness there. makes it awkward. Like you're not necessarily trying to go right into that line. Yeah. Um, we'll get it to work. You don't have to kill the oystron either. You get a lot of no, points. But, but I want to see it. The, the other option is to just avoid it. Because you go to a warp level. Uh, no, you go to a warp level regardless. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's not the warp level, it's the points. You get a lot of points if you kill it. 
so I should just be careful and not get all crazy about trying to kill him. But the enemies are still coming. Mm -hmm. While the... Mm -hmm. oh. While the oyster hunt is there, the enemies still come. Yep. They do get harder once they're inside. Yeah, they do. They seem to. Come on, right down. Oh, oh shooting. I wonder if there's any oysters that are impossible to kill. Maybe like that just, guy. Maybe that guy. <laughs> maybe that guy. Bombs take it. Oh, I gotta get this guy. Get <laughs> bombs take out a whole row? Yes, they do. You have to get the bombs if they're in your area. Like if they're coming for what you're working on. Right. Yeah, you, you definitely have to kill the bombs. Because I think the other guys might. And when they make that, that flashing mm. line the whole way through, they kill everything oh, as well. Oh, okay. So. Get to Oystron. Okay. Now I just need to be safe, make it to the Oystron, lay a bunch of bombs. I thought the boss fight would be just the boss, but no, it's just the boss is mixed in now He's, with, yeah. with everybody else, and he just hangs around. I just have to be very wary of the noise and the flashing screen so I don't lay down a bomb. Well, you have you have six now. Okay. There you go. So I think you. Oh, you have. You can't. You have shoot to them. avoid. You have to avoid. Yeah. Now you'll be a little bit back. No. Oh, you're dead. It's my last life. Anyway, I made it to the guy. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit more practice, maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> that was fun, though. That's a really that's a really fun game. Very challenging. I could game. I could see you know killing a lot of hours trying to trying <laughs> to catch trying to kill drop that bomb and get that oyster on. Nineteen ninety seven. 21 years ago this was made this game wow yeah it's an early homebrew yeah i don't know it's not the earliest one because i know there's one called okie dokie i believe that's the first homebrew okay but this one would be very close after i'll have to look up what year that was um this one probably the i mean the best of the night mm. i mean the other ones are classic games Mm. Um, Pac-Man was a really good conversion. If you like Pac-Man, I'm not like wild about Pac-Man, so yeah, I enjoyed it. I yep. enjoyed it. It's um, a good conversion. I, um, I yeah. wouldn't recommend using the Genesis controller <laughs> for Pac-Man. <laughs> no, it's bad. Bad news. Mm. It's just too hard to do the turns at the right moment. I would use a a proper um, joystick style. Mm. Um, 
And Donkey Kong. Eh. <laughs> I'm not super wild about Donkey Kong to begin with. Um, it's super hard game in the arcade. Yeah. I die immediately. Um, the home conversion is easier. Mm. Um, but still, it's just not a very interesting game to me. It's it's one of those games where you just get to the end, get to the end, get to the end. There's no tactics like this type of game. I, I yeah, I... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know where that came from. Um, I agree, actually. I like games that have a little bit more strategy and... Um, yeah. Uh, like like this game I really, really enjoyed. And not that I have anything against Donkey Kong or Pac-Man, um, yeah. but they are not games that I would just sort of pull out and play. But this game, this game's a lot of fun. I, I, I yeah. really like it. I think we were getting kind of serious towards it. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, and the graphics are amazing. Yeah, they look really... Really colorful. And like the, a <clears throat> Tons game... Tons of stuff going on And the to be honest, you hear a game called Oystron. And, 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 <laughs> you're like, what? And you're like, that sounds very strange. That's a weird game, but... Um, uh, no, it, it, it's, it's pretty lively. It's pretty fun. Yeah. No. Um, so my game of the night is Oyster on for yeah, sure. Yeah, me too. Me too, I think. Uh, yeah. And it's one of the earliest homebrews. That's which cool. Is, yeah. Which is really amazing. Yeah. Here's the cover. I don't know if I showed it to you guys. Um, back up a little bit. There we go. Really nice. Really colorful. Very retro. Almost. It looks like a like cover that would have been drawn. The 70s? That would have been drawn in the nineties, though. 90s. There's something okay. about that black oh. background that makes me think of old, like punk album covers or yes. something, and like nineties um, style graffiti, oh, okay. if that makes sense. So I, I, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I go. like that. There you go. Yeah, it does have that nineties aesthetic, um, skater surfer type. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, yeah, I like that. Yeah, um, I'll have to find the manual. I know I got it. I hopefully I got it because it does come with a manual. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know where it is. Um, yeah, so that was, uh, and uh, it was fun comparing these remakes to that actually were released. Because mm -hmm. usually when they do homebrews, they're of games that never got released mm -hmm. on the 2600. But sometimes the games are so bad. The you original need to release. Re -release. <laughs> They're like, no, we gotta redo this. This is not acceptable. Yeah. And of course, giants of the arcade like Pac-Man and Donkey Kong, people mm. are going to do it. Mm. And there's actually other versions of Donkey Kong as well that people have remade. I don't know about Pac-Man. I mean, there's Pac-Man 4K. There's actually a Pac-Man 2K as well, a simple, simple one, and the 8K that we played. Mm. Um, and of course, all the millions of variants. Mm. Um, but it is it is interesting to see what people can accomplish by pushing the system to its limits and uh, given enough time too, because back in the 80s, these guys were given weeks <laughs> to make the game, maybe months mm -hmm. if they're lucky. And the, and the people who do these games, you know, they do it over, I think some of the, like the Donkey Kong dates were like for four or five years. And, you know, Atari was almost done by then. Well. <laughs> Came out in 77, and it was, you know, crashed in uh, winter of 83. Hmm. So that's six well, years. <laughs> Nobody's going to wait. To be five... fair to the homebrew software developers, though, I'm sure a lot of them are doing it in their free time. Yeah, they're not being paid for it. With full-time jobs and families and kids and other that's things true. in their life. So it probably takes them a, a little bit longer. There's a bit of an <laughs> imbalance there, yes, whereas yes. the... The programmers that worked for Atari in the 70s and 80s, That's all that they was did. their job. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's 100% yeah. their whole life. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a bit of weighing out, but they, they, I think the programmers now probably put in more hours in programming mm -hmm. hours than, at, at least thinking hours, let's say. Thinking plus programming. Mm. Because they have time to sit back, and and of course they have the advantage of time knowing all the tricks <laughs> that people have built up throughout the years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. So uh, that's it for this week. Um, I probably won't be able to do a midweek. I missed it this week as well because I was redoing my computer, upgrading it. Um, you guys didn't see any noticeable things. I did order a new hardware uh, video capture. But it was not the right one. 
Otherwise, I would have used it today. And I reordered another one. Mm. So hopefully, it was for the video camera. Because you notice this is kind of wishy-washy. Because I had to turn a hardware accelerator off. Mm -hmm. But with the new one, the hardware accelerator will be on. <laughs> and it'll Good. be very crisp. Mm. 60 frames a second, actually. Because nice. this is... 24 i believe it'll be much much better mm. as long as the camera doesn't overheat <laughs> i've put something cold on it yeah heat sink get a cold pack yeah <laughs> um when does that come in either one or two weeks so it may not be next saturday so i mean next friday so darcy will be back next friday yes um maybe you'll join us but we usually do it do it during the day at two o'clock unfortunately i work yes. during the day so yeah, <laughs> yeah not so easy so yeah. until next next week next friday probably mm -hmm. um we're out of here so goodbye this is uh, zero page homebrew this i'm james and this is Tanya. we didn't yeah. announce our names at the top so if you stuck this long that's our name yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'll see you next friday you can check out all the old um videos on youtube mm -hmm. and past couple weeks on twitch and um yeah it's zero page homebrew on instagram twitter without the w on twitter it's too long and on youtube and facebook so if you're on any or one of those and you go check us out there and you can find all the old episodes on youtube excellent okay all right bye -bye. have a good have a good friday night yeah have a good friday night or whatever day this is <laughs> that you're watching it after <laughs> bye bye bye